will honor Mr. Courtney today with the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award. It is my great pleasure to do this. I do it on a regular basis, and each one is unique. I try to make each one unique for the recipient and to make it special for them. My name is Bob Jex, J-E-X. I work out of the Orlando FISDO. I actually, if you know Obi Young, he's the gentleman behind the camera there, I have his old job. I give these awards out on a regular basis as a member of the FAST Team Program Office, and we're out there spearheading the aviation safety efforts around the district. So it's my pleasure to be doing these. We do them uh, on a regular basis. Uh, we'll have another one at Sun and Fun uh, during the Sun and Fun Air Show. Next year we'll be doing 10, eight Wright Brothers Master Pilots and two Charles Taylor Master Mechanics. This morning's ceremony, we need about 30 minutes of your time. And again, thank you for coming out. We're going to roll a video that teaches you a little bit about the Wright brothers and their background that maybe you didn't know. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the award itself because perhaps people in the audience may know somebody who's eligible for the award but who may not know about the award itself. And so we want to make sure that folks know about it and know how special it is when a recipient gets one of these things. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be introducing the life of Mr. Courtney uh, to those who may not know a whole lot about his background. And uh, we've gotten approval already, and uh, we're ready to, uh, to roll with this. And afterwards, if you have any questions for me about the award, I'd be very happy to answer them for you and to help point you in the direction uh, of helping someone else to get this award. Are you ready? At the time, the Wright brothers uh, made their application to the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian was backing a different horse in the race to be the first to fly. They were backing a gentleman named Samuel Pierpont Langley. You don't know his name because he did not succeed. He was in it for a different reason. He wanted fame and fortune. The Wright brothers wanted to advance science. They had a dream. Samuel Pierpont Langley had ambition for fame and fortune, different motivations, quite different results. The Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award, of course, named for the Wright Brothers themselves, the creators of the first successfully powered airplane. It is a Lifetime Achievement Award first authorized in 2003. The recipients are honored with the special FAA plaque, uh, and their name goes in the Roll of Honor for everyone to see. The eligibility requirements were mentioned in the film and they are a 50-year uh, flying history. You must be a U.S. citizen, have a 50-year clean record with the FAA. Up to 20 years of the 50 can be in the military, uh, and many of our applicants uh, have military uh, experience. Clean record, no revocations. The little bit of bling goes along with the award. It's about nickel size, so it's right up here on the table. I think that Mike will leave it up on the table for everybody to look at when it's all done, but they're very, very nice. We looked up the numbers, and as of yesterday, there are 3,692 master pilots, and that's only within the last 10, 15 years when they first brought the award up. Okay. I want to mention also the Charles Taylor Master Mechanic Award. It is the corollary to the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award. Are there any Taylor Award recipients in the audience? Are there any Wright Brothers Award past recipients in the audience? I'd like them to be recognized. That's Walt. He's one of the board members, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. He got it three years ago. All right. Now, without any further ado, we'll introduce our newest one. We're starting the, t the, the thing over again. Robert Michael Courtney, he goes by Mike from Davenport. His FAA file shows that he first soloed in June of 1964. He holds an airline transport pilot certificate for airplane multi-engine land. He's type rated in the DC-9, 
holds commercial privileges, airplane single engine land, a flight engineer certificate for turbojet, and he's a current CFI airplane single and multi-engine and instrument airplane. He's a ground instructor, advanced and instrument and aircraft dispatcher, and last time we checked he had over 17,000 hours uh, on the books, and I think he has more than that. By their fruits ye shall know them. That quote from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 20, teaches us that good men produce good results and helps explain the impeccable aviation career of Michael Courtney. By way of extension, if it's true that a good pilot produces a good aviation track record, Mike's record has been one of the best. His resume reads like a dream career to any aspiring airline pilot and it is most fortuitous that Mike serves in a position of significant influence at the nearby Polk State College, where he can help young practitioners of his beloved profession to succeed in their aviation endeavors. Mike got his start in aviation in June 1964, soloing a Cessna 172 in Fort Lauderdale at Florida Air Motive. With a lot of hard work, he joined Eastern Airlines in 1967. Three years later, and remained with Eastern until 1991, serving in nearly every flight deck position, including flight engineer, first officer, captain, and air transportation instructor. When Eastern folded, Mike joined Aerosafe Incorporated as an aircraft accident investigator and analyst. He later found his way onto a flight deck again with Sunjet International Airlines, and in 1994, serving in more senior operational and supervisory positions as well. Moving on to Southeast Airlines, Mike remained a captain, instructor, and Czech airman for nearly seven years before closing another chapter in what by now had become a 30-year career in aviation that includes line experience in numerous air transport aircraft and nearly 18,000 hours of log time. But Mike wasn't finished with aviation, not by a long shot. He maintains affiliations with a number of professional aviation organizations, including the International Society of Air Safety Investigators. <clears throat> Mike joined Polk State College in 2013 and has been with them ever since as the Aerospace Program Coordinator and an adjunct professor. Other professional pilots who know Mike well say he is something of a legend on campus and is a sought-after mentor to Polk's 150 enrolled students. Mike meets personally with each of them when they first arrive and makes sure they understand very clearly what will be expected of them on campus and throughout their aviation career. Eric Crump, the Aerospace Program Director and who helped endorse Mike for the Master Pilot Award stated that Mike is Polk State Aerospace and Polk State Aerospace is Mike. By their fruits ye shall know them. I think St. Matthew would be proud. Mike's wife of 45 years, Doris, and sons Rob and Alan are here today with him. Doris, as much as anyone, has contributed immeasurably to Mike's very successful aviation career. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the FAA Administrator, please join me in welcoming Mike Courtney as America's newest Wright Brothers Master Pilot. Suit is a group and a team effort. And 
I'm, I'm receiving this award today only because of the people that I've worked with over the years, the professionals that have professionals who have developed and run our industry, the finest air transportation system in the world. And I accept the award really on behalf of everyone that I've worked with and everyone who has helped me over the years.